beautiful day. We're out at our local Goodwill. See if we can find a flip a line for a profit. First item, check this bad boy out right here. My back car is getting really bent down. This is like a um, Stormtrooper helmet. It is from 2008, I'm pretty sure. And this guy is actually worth like, they're listed high, like over 100 bucks. They have listed for 16 bucks here. Um, but they sell regularly for 45 to 50, which would be my three times the amount. That's uh, pretty good. Planetarium projects. It'd be awesome if that was a, a ocean. You can tell because it's got Team No Cart already has a cart. What did you find? Oh, that's old Clemson. That's like from yeah. the 80s. I would guess it's from the 80s. Huh. This is $16. But it goes for like a hundo. Well, maybe like 40 or 50 if it works. Is that when you're playing the game? Like no, this is it? this is like an older 2008. Is it for costing? Yeah. It works. Rip. That's good. Does it have lights? Is this the right one? Is there a... Yeah, 2008. That's it. Check it out. All right. That's easy. $30 made. A lot of resellers in here today will can move fast. They, they move so fast. It's like... We're not as fast movers as them. You know what they say? The second mouse gets the cheese. Is that what they say? That's, no, that's what the second mouse says because the first mouse ain't talking. What? He's dead. He got... The first mouse gets snacked. The oh, second mouse geez. goes. <laughs> Awful. You know what that meant? Hey, check this out. It's made in the United States. It's called Car. Uh, yeah, we'll definitely work for it. Pretty neat looking. Who's that? Frankie and Johnny? I don't know about Frankie and Johnny. My dad the other day found two uh, Disney lounge flies in here. Never have I ever found one. Dad finds two in one day. That's cute. $7. Seven dollars. It doesn't have any stains on the inside. That's a anything. biggie. That's a biggie. Oh, that's cheap. You can tell by how heavy it is. This is a nice coffee. Look at that. They're selling uh, refueled coffee. Where's the Kate Spade? Glass case. Those are glasses in it. Show me some little G.I. Joe thing. That'd be pretty sweet. What's that? Nothing there. Nothing there. Beard and curl is absolutely not. <laughs> My beard is naturally curly. It is. it is. Who's got feet that are shaped like that? I feel like that would hurt. Do they stretch? I don't know. Pencils? No. Coloring. There's a thousand people in here today. I'm stuck. Is it what? That's cool looking. Um, I don't know what that is. It's like a radio. It's definitely gotta be a radio. How do you turn it off? <laughs> I'm leaving. Goodbye. <laughs> Who's it made by? I'm gonna take another picture of it. It's not even like ceramic, it's like a uh, resin almost. 99 cents. Oh, he's definitely worth 99 cents. All day, every day. Look at that face. How can he not be worth 99 cents? What do you got here for a VBS? Yeah, look Those at streamers? That. 99 cents? Huh, pretty nice. That square. That's Fitz and Floyd. For three bucks. It's got a big chip in it right there. Negative. Something like this that's chipped. Always a put back. Oh, there's a blue box back here. I wanted to know what was inside of it. Here it is. Feels heavy. I'm talking about it feels heavy. There ain't nothing in it. That's me talking to myself. Legitly. Alright, I left Kayla and they came over here. I think that these are good. Um, this one is for 
rock band. Oh, man. Definitely does not. I don't know if that thing's gonna work or not. How do you test these things out? Then you got this one for the Wii, the front man, and then you got this one down here, another Fender Strata. Oh, that one's definitely broken. Ooh. Little floppy thing, don't even flop no more. Um, I will look these up though. I know some of these do go for like, we've sold them as high as 50 to 60 bucks. I don't know the difference between them, but I always run the model numbers when I find them. So that's not too bad. This one, what is it? Oh my goodness, he's heavy. The Leaping Frog, it's a wine corker. They want 99 cents for him. Yeah, he sold for $27.95. Really? Mm-hmm. What's his frog, friend? I don't know. Like a, like a, a cute little frog thing. Probably like a bottle cap opener or something. Yeah. One and nine. Towel Silversmith? Uh, yeah, Towel's a brand that Some of their stuff goes. goes for good money, yeah. I don't know if that's definitely silver plated. You can tell by the tarnish of it. Unless that thing says sterling on the bottom. Mm -hmm. Pretty cool. This is really neat. Yeah. You think yeah. we should just put this one back? Ah, it's up to you. you. Can look it up. I don't. I don't really know them too terribly well. Ah, this one's burnt. Bowl. Dude, damn bowls are, the best are bowls. super expensive, and they're the best bowls. We actually keep them, um, but these Rachel Ray bowls actually go for like twenty dollars a piece. What's that? I can sell that in the booth after the. Yeah, that's nice. And then this right here. I haven't looked this up, but I think for 99 cent, that's a no brainer. That's the same people that, remember the um, the Model T that we sold? Mm -hmm. That's the same people. These you go for like 10 bucks. But that one might go for more because it's cooler looking. This pan right here is really interesting. This is called Hex Clad. And it looks like it's in super good condition. Just means to be cleaned up and it was used a lot. I can't see the name on this. But Pampered Chef makes hex clad. There's a couple other people that makes hex clad stuff. And that just is like the little hexacon things on the inside. This one is indicating it is a good looking pan. It's expensive. It has like the nice no rivets on the inside. Heavy duty handle. I don't see a name though. And I know it's three bucks and I usually advise people not to buy stuff like this because there isn't a name brand. But I got a feeling there's a name under here. So I'm going to go home clean this thing up really good to see if I can see a name brand on it and then go from there. If not, we'll use it because this is a nice pan. There is no like Teflon or whatever that stuff is. None of that's coming off. And um, But just know that some of these hex clad things can go for hundreds and hundreds of dollars. They're also calling that um, copper. I don't think that this is copper. That's probably not. Yeah, so this is a fragrance lamp, but it's missing a piece. It's supposed to have a wick in it. It, I guess, unleashes the fragrance when you do this and do this. And then it has some sort of smell good come out of it. Some of them go for how much? Like 70? Like that much 20. But some are, that one says 290. <laughs> do they sell for that much money? 138? 90? Oh yeah, that's pretty cool. But this one isn't probably going to be worth that much money. So we're going to put this one back. But, because it's missing the pieces. But these are, could be like a bolo. We didn't even know what this thing was. Mm. So, good job. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. The total for everything in that Goodwill was $48, which is not bad at all. Because you got to think, that helmet right there will probably go for more than $48. Bucks, then everything else is profit. This is actually really cool. I think this will probably be listed on eBay. And it's just an old Clemson. So, if you're, good, if you're a Clemson fan, check this out. This is super cool. That's like the older style mascot, I'm guessing. I mean, you can tell. But very cool little picture than everything else after this will be profit. I'm almost positive that this is going to be a pampered chef because I can see a P on the back of this. So if I clean this thing up, see the inside looks beautiful, non-stick uh, hex clad, but clean the bottom up, it's probably going to go for like 30 or 40 bucks. But brand new, be on the lookout for these because they do go for well over 100 bucks. There's also a couple other companies that have that. So a very cool pickup there. So we're going to actually put this stuff in the car, go to the next. Looks like the 90s. It does turn it into a duffel bag. It's only one. None I've ever sold. That's cool looking. Over in the golf section, I saw one guy walking around with the golf club, so I was like, maybe they put some new stuff out. I don't see a whole bunch over here, but I did find a long shot by Golfsmith. Now, that's not like a super high-end brand or anything like that, but the good thing is, is that it is a belly putter. 
so it's a longer golf club. So if you ever see one that's like super long, or like that's weird and has two distinct grips on it, it means it's a belly putter. And uh, this one's probably four foot. It looks like you're probably gonna go for like 50 to 60 bucks, uh, which is, that ain't too shabby for only 3.99. Got this really cool thing back here, Talking Wiz Kid Notebook. Looked it up, they want 10 bucks for it. It's cool, it comes with the original box. I think this is back in the 90s, I would think, somewhere relatively 93 rough condition though really really rough has a scratch on it super dirty um chance of this thing working probably pretty slim to none uh, it's not corroded which is pretty good that's always a plus uh the thing is they sell anywhere from 99 cents which was on bid which is never do bid on stuff like this to um 60 bucks but really around the 20 dollar range so we're gonna keep that behind but pretty cool little find Anybody remembers that from 1993? What is in this thing? What would be in this? It stinks like weird. What do you put in it? It doesn't have a name on it. It's 10 bucks. That is chrome and that doesn't match that. Um, and then this is definitely lined with some sort of bear skin it's definitely it's been hot glued down here so i'm guessing that this is a homemade box what are you what are you putting in it though so i don't know but i did find a pair of uh doc martens anytime you see this sticking up it's like a where it's going to say air wear on it it's going to be a pair of doc martens in actually pretty good condition we use uh doc martens wonder leather bomb clean these up like in a heartbeat and they're usually probably going to go for like 40 or 50 bucks in this condition always a pickup so the music was super loud in the front of this goodwill but uh this is near the case that is a really cool little statue from like 1980 i google lens it they want 35 dollars for it so i had to leave it behind because it only sells for about 40 but that crystal cat right there is listed super high none have ever sold they want 35 bucks for it also those squishmallows right there also 34.99 what did you find Is it glass? Yeah, it's like uh, thick glass. Look how thick that is. You think that's glass or plastic? That's glass. You think? Yeah. 100%. We gotta do a shake test. It's pretty heavy. Sailboat? Somebody must have donated a ton of like uh very interesting stuff. There's like a crystal thing up there that's listed for like 150 to 200 bucks, but none have ever sold um, like at all. And then there's another statue from like the 80s. This is pretty neat. I might take a picture of this actually. Only for 20 bucks. I did find a pair of Doc Martens. Oh, nice. I know, just clean it up a little bit and then they'll go for decent. It had a name attached to it or signed. It's not signed by anybody. These are like blown though. These little guys right here, those little things on them, they're glass and they have little bubbles in them. So it's pretty neat, but I don't know. Cool though, 20 bucks. What's in the F.E.O. Schwartz? It's like a jester. The big map. That probably be good for church. I guarantee you this is worth money. Twelve. Where'd you come from? Look at the shipping though. Where's the soul? Sixty-two. Oh, uh, souls are up here. Don't you worry about that soul now. She's all about the soul. The smaller ones pre-owned go for one probably 50 and that one probably 35 but this one is the 47 it's got this, all its little creatures inside too yeah actually i think this would be cool for church do you, do you think they need a map for church for kids for learning oh it's got a big stain on it lots of stains lots of stains what they use is this a placemat they probably use as a placemat all right well we're not getting because of all the staining but yeah, that's a pretty cool little find. So these right here, a lot of people say that they don't get, they don't sell for them. These sell pretty well for us, and they are SAS. These are in super good condition. On the inside, there's actually looks like there's no wear whatsoever, and the bottoms just need to be wiped down. And uh, they always sell for us for thirty bucks. So we always pick them up, seven bucks into thirty all day long for the SAS. These are in, they have to be in good condition. These can be, they're leather, so they can be uh, treated with the same stuff we treat this with, and. Uh, Easy to ship, easy to list, we'll take it. Another good find in the shoes, that little hook symbol, we call these the hook shoes, and uh, that's the real name. And these are always a buy for seven bucks. 
These are in actually really, really good condition. Are these my size? They look like they might be my size. Um, but their sandals go for a lot of money. Their slip-on shoes go for a lot of money. This is, again, another 30 bucks easy. I walked by these. Uh, so, always got to go back and take a look. This is my second rounds around the shoes. That ain't too bad. Another pair of shoes here. Super good condition. These are all birds. These have kind of fallen off a little bit. They have to be in really good, for, really good condition for us to buy. And uh, for seven bucks, all birds, again, probably another $30. Uh, easy to ship, easy to list. We'll take these. Turns out the shoes is where it's at today. What do you got here? I just bumped you with all the shoes in my hand because we're team no cart. I got seven pairs of shoes in my left arm. This is nice. But honestly, that's be, that's be legit. It's probably not worth $2.99. You probably buy one of these. A bit cheaper than that. So there's only one listed, yep. none sold. $50 free shipping. I mean, mm. that's pretty heavy. It's easy, 12 bucks a ship, 10 bucks a ship. So I'm going to say no to No that. go. How about the, that red thing in your yeah, hand? Yeah, like, look at this thing. Oh, wow. Team No Cart's really making a mess really over here. Really making a mess. What is this? It looks like a disposable bowl that you would eat after you're done. Like, dissolves with milk. Feel this. Yeah. Does it have orange on the bottom? Hmm. It's got a seam on it. I don't know how you would identify that because there's no name. Take its fingerprint. To identify it. No? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you are full of jokes today. Full of something. Look at this thing. That's dainty. Look at this thing. Yeah, what is that? That's nice. <laughs> oh, wow. Hey, is that that Bill guy? Doesn't say anything. There's definitely a mark on the bottom. Oh, Gee. I would be taken. We one time ran. What was his name? Uh, Graham, not Billy Graham. Um, some Potter that does. This is this is a nice. What's his name? Yeah, try to Google lens that. I don't think that's his signature, but this is going to be some sort of. Some of this pottery stuff is like crazy, crazy expensive. Hey, that's not what's inside of here. What's inside of here? What do you got going on here, guys? Plastic plates. I love plastic plates. Reminds me of like a kid. I like paper plates. I like no plates. Throw them away. Just throw them away. All right, Kayla says no go on these. So we're going to leave them behind, but they are super cool. And tell me in the comments, there is, we picked up that pottery before and it is escaping me. All right, $31 for everything there, which I think is a steal of a deal because the Doc Martens honestly will go double that amount, probably 60 bucks for the Doc Martens, then everything else is profit. That ain't too bad. On to the next. Our last chance to find anything good today, which today has actually been a really good thrifting day, but we are at the Snailvation Army. I got good feelings. I always have good feelings when I go to here, but we haven't found anything here in a really long time, but today is the day all right i saw you smiling from a mile away when i turned the corner what did you find <laughs> so i know you've always wanted to go to the redwood forest i do what is that? california redwood it's so light you think it'd be heavier that's really nice look at this this oh. is the actual tree no i'm just kidding <laughs> made in indonesia really that's, that's nice like that's a good hardy piece of wood. That's a hardy piece of wood. Hardy it, piece of wood. Look at this thing. Who's that? That's a big magnet. It sits pretty, I mean, it's kind of wobbly. Yeah, that's, that's nice. These wood bowls always, that thing is heavy. It is heavy. That's a solid piece of wood. I found a sponge. What does this remind you of? If you get this, I'll be very impressed. What is that? Piece of coral under the ocean. It reminds me of a hermit crab. Hermit crab, the little sponges. Yep, the little sponges it, yep. and the hermit crab. Do they still some hermit crabs? Did they make you sad? What did you get? I know you've always wanted to go to Hawaii. <laughs> Made in Hawaii. I'm traveling around the world right now. Traveling around the world. There's a little turtle in there. <gasps> little turtle. That's funny. Yeah. I know it's ten dollars, but there's something right there from New York. Yeah, that's really cool. Go home and go through it. Yeah. There you go. And there's one of those, um, remember that ring that I got? The snap? Yeah. Snap thing? Yep. That goes to that. That's really cool. 
so I could put that together. With Ten dollars. All right, back in the Salvation Army, you saw what we uh, bought in there, but we actually did not get this for nine ninety nine. Uh, it was twenty five percent off, so it was like two dollars and fifty cents off. So we only got this for seven dollars and fifty cents. So Kayla's gonna go home and uh, see what's inside of here. Usually, you know, we'll we'll see. Sometimes you find some really cool things in here. Sometimes you don't. But for seven fifty, we had to give that a try. So the Salvation Army did have some decent stuff today. That ain't too shabby. We'll go ahead and step in here real fast on the jar we actually got for $7.50. Some really good stuff. Uh, Kayla's going to use most of this stuff over here for her pot charms. If you don't know what that is, there is uh, we have a website. It's on the left side called Kayla's Creations, or if you're on your phone, it's just directly down as you scroll. Kayla's Creations, you'll actually get to see what a pot charm is. Very cool that she did get inside there a whole bunch of bracelet making items right here and then some other vintage necklaces that will be sold on whatnot. But the coolest thing and the most valuable, probably the most valuable, is this little thing right there. And uh, it is marked 10 karat gold and we're gonna go ahead and weigh it really fast we have a uh, spot price on gold i looked it up but i forget but this is going to be about 35 dollars worth of gold right there so it's 1.21 grams and uh, we do scratch test or acid test our gold but the first thing you want to do is just make sure it's not magnetized as you can tell that one's not magnetized and this one back here has a marking on it also but immediately we knew this wasn't gold because it's magnetized so but that ain't bad for seven dollars and fifty cents a lot of times you don't find uh, any gold in lots at goodwill so now we'll be definitely taking a look for the salvation army jars of jewelry out of the storage unit and if you didn't know we have another channel called the flip squad we get a lot of questions on this channel about you know we only show what we find and we never show exactly how much it costs or how much it is actually sells for that's on the other channel that's why we're here is to pick up orders that have sold also we just sold uh, if you guys remember at the peaches to beaches Kayla bought the wicker shelving unit painted it which was on the flip squad too we showed you you know what color we painted it and how she did that just sold for a hundred and twenty five hundred and twenty five dollars and we got it for five dollars and like ten dollars worth of paint so that ain't bad good day of thrifting and already a good day of sales locally so I mean we're pretty happy with that if you're not subscribed subscribe comment down below like the video you know I will always get you on the next one